Hello YouTube, this is the Creative Duelist here representing Team FTK, welcome folks. Now of course we do have a 1100 subscriber giveaway, so I'd like to say a huge shout out to all of you who's been supporting us in terms of our team and of course my channel, a big huge shout out to all of you, thanks for helping out the team and thanks for just, for just showing your support and showing your feedback and subscribing to the channel, really helps a lot. So without further ado, in order to join the giveaway, make sure you check out the previous video, Yu-Gi-Oh! Budget Decks that are $75 and under. Make sure you check that video out, leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for, th for further content. So now, we have a Patreon. If you folks would like to support us on a more personal level, we have many tiers. Please check them out. Hopefully it suits to your liking. Reasons why we have the Patreon is, of course, it helps us. Um, improve our quality of our content we purchase more cards for our decks we purchase equipment and of course all around just making the the channel more better so i appreciate all of you patreons who are part of part of our patreon uh you know just huge shout out to all of you and of course we we are sponsored so please check out ink gaming promo code is team ftk10 I repeat, Team FTK10, all links shall be in the description, all information shall be in the, in the description if you're not sure. Please check out Inked Game, and of course they do have a wide assortment of items, such as dice, keyboard, mouses, and of course playmats for, for all you card game players, and of course who doesn't like a sweet mat? But yes folks, that's me, that's enough of me babbling, let's get on with the video shall we? Hello YouTube, this is the Creative Duelist here representing Team FTK and I've been making decks creative since 2016. Welcome folks, today I'm here with a very fun deck, I love this deck so much. This is my Nethesis deck profile, very fun, I love this deck, I've been testing it a lot, it's very explosive, no pun intended. Um, it came out of um, Hidden Summoners and I'm glad we got the support, this deck can just deal with a lot of decks you know that have inherent protection from stuff but anyway let's go on with the deck profile and of course i'm going to go with my card choices and all that good starting with the monsters with the ritual proportion of the deck of course i do play the double uh also let me check the name a uh, cerulean cerulean is pretty decent uh the sacred feed it's a nethesis uh when it's ritual summoned of course it has two effects um you can blow up um as many Nethesis monsters in your hand or field as possible and you can destroy that many monsters your opponent controls really good it doesn't target your opponent's stuff it targets your stuff so you can blow up things that you know can't be targeted by card effects and stuff and of course the secondary effect which makes this card so annoying and so um, great at the same time for your opponent and great for you is that if it's a straw by battling card effect, it literally comes back during your next standby phase. So it's literally a Grunix on crack, which makes this deck very explosive. And of course, for the final proportion of my ritual monsters, I play the triple devotee of Nethesis. Really good card. Um, two effects, of course. Um, if it's in your graveyard, you can blow up a Nethesis card in your uh, uh, in your hand and special summon her back to the field. And of course, you can special summon a Nethesis monster from the deck, um, but but it, it gets destroyed at the end phase, which works with the Sacred Phoenix and Nethesis, the the effect version, not the ritual version, because you can't special summon rituals ritual monsters unless you ritual summon them properly. But anyway, that's going to round up the whole ritual lineup. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the little baby disciple stuff. So now, of course, with the triple, now I've got the triple um, Disciple of Nethesis. They're really cute and they have interesting effects. Now, I'm pretty much going to explain briefly how they work in terms of their effects and toolboxes and engines. So, of course, what these little mini babies do is that they blow up a card in your hand and they do something depending on, depending on which one uh, you use. And 
during and if they're destroyed by a card effect during your next standby phase uh, they get an additional effect where they can do something else so in this situation what disciple does you can destroy it during your main phase you can destroy one card from your hand and if you do so you can add one Nethesis monster from your deck to your hand uh, which is pretty good except herself and of course if she is destroyed by card effect um, and sent to the graveyard during your standby phase your next standby phase you get to add a Nethesis spell and trap which is really good you can search practically um, your ritual spell which is really good so now that I've explained that to you folks, I'm going to continue with my lineup. I've got the double matriarchy of the net of Nethesis, pretty good. It's literally, um, it's like a wolf bark for the deck. So you blow up a card in your hand and special summon a Nethesis monster from the graveyard to your field. Pretty decent. And of course, if she's destroyed by card effects since the graveyard, you can basically revive back. Uh, a Nethesis monster, sorry, you can revive herself, my bad. You can special summon her from the graveyard, which is really good. So you can just keep uh, that consistent engine going. And of course, I do play the double defender. Defender's really good. Uh, she helps to bring out a, Nethys a level 4 or lower Neth Nethesis monster from your hand um, onto the field. And if she's destroyed by card effect um, during the standby phase, of course, she can blow up a Nethesis monster from your deck it works really well with sacred phoenix and nethesis and and vice versa it's really good and the final copy uh, of the little um the little children well not necessarily children but i call them babies they're cute uh the chronicler of nethesis she's literally the warrior returning alive for the deck you blow up something from hand and grab back a nethesis card really good very strong i love this card just one one is enough so that's going to round up the babies, of course, and that lineup. I'm going to continue on with the, my monsters. Uh, I only play one Sacred Phoenix and Nethesis. I want to play a second copy now because I saw so many builds playing triple of it. And I'm just like, why? I feel, you know, playing too many copies of this can essentially brick. But I realize this card is actually pretty good. Even though it only nukes back row when it comes back to the field, it's still a good card. Nethesis is really good. So I may change it up, I may bunk up the numbers, we'll see how it goes. And of course, I only just play the one True King, uh, the Vanisher. I'm only testing the True King engine, kind of-ish. Um, this deck isn't like fully True Kings, I probably might do that in the future. So stay tuned for an, up for an update. But this is just there to help me get my Fire King engine off, or blow up any of the babies to get their secondary additional effects, which is very powerful. So that's going to round up the mini engine, of course. This is going on with the uh, the Fire King engine, the, the double Garunix, uh, the double Avata, double double Barong, and of course one Yaksha. Pretty standard Yaksha to blow up something in hand, Barong to search, this to revive back the big chicken, or to basically, or you can just negate a monster effect and blow up something else, which is good. And Garunix is literally a dark hole in the flesh, which makes Runix are very powerful. So that's going to round up the whole monster lineup, folks. For the spells, of course, I do play the triple rebirth of Nethesis. This card is so great. I love it. You can blow up a card when you successfully ritual summon one of uh, the Nethesis ritual monsters from the deck. And what's really nice, because it mentions their names, Devotee and, of course, uh, Shirelim, you can basically search it with the pre preparation of rites, which is pretty nice. Speak of the Devil. Uh, Triple pre-preparation of rights, double preparation of rights, grab back the devotees and grab back the rebirth. Really powerful. Double call by the grave, one onslaught, uh, one monster reborn, uh, recharge, sorry, <laughs> my bad, soul, soul charge, uh, dark hole, regeki, and of course, just for my trap lineup, very small trap lineup, just triple torrential tribute. Works really well with the big chicken. It you, you flip-flop your opponent's field there's always going to be constant destruction and it's always going to put your opponent off so that's going to round up the whole spell lineup and my trap lineup folks the extra deck now the extra deck even though we have our we have nethesis have their own link monster i have never made it to be honest with you i've never been in a situation where i needed where i could make it well with soul charge and stuff i could make it but 
the the Sher the Sherilene just puts in so so much bloody work. Uh, it almost makes the extra deck almost non-existent. But I'll show you my extra deck anyway. Of course, I've got the Sacred Flames and the Sacred uh, Preserver. Pretty standard, decent, just to help out the deck. And of course, I've got some other link stuff here. Uh, the links are pretty small. My extra deck is not like extra deck is not important because again the field is going to get consistently nuked once you get the field going and your extra deck monsters are just going to die with it so this is why it, the extra deck is quite small but anyway folks thank you all for watching if you folks enjoyed this video please remember to leave a like comment down below feedback is always nice to hear tell me your thoughts down in the comment section i'd love to hear your opinions suggestions please leave in the comment section i'd love to see what you have to say but of course Make sure you check the links down in the description. You want to support us on Patreon personally, check that out. We've got the giveaway going on and all that great stuff. So yes, folks, uh, this is the Crazy Duelist signing out. Peace.